Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Apocalypse Level 2! Oh! oh. The sewers, uh, that's right guys, welcome to the sewers, which features one of the most annoying enemies in the game, these green dudes which throw grenades at you. So uh, the thing is about grenades, they deal a lot of damage, so try to dispose of these dudes as soon as you see them. You can also get grenades yourselves, uh, but uh, it's really not advisable weapon, uh, because it's kinda really, really awkward. Uh, you can't aim it, and uh, bombs explode at certain intervals, so yeah, really awkward to use. And yeah, this level also features bats, as you can see, which you should dispose of as soon as you can as well, because sometimes they get in the way of your aiming to destroy these green dudes. Uh, so yeah, pretty annoying uh, bats here. But anyway, in that case you can get smart bomb, then grenades. Yeah, grenades we won't be using too much, but uh, eh, they're there, so why not uh, grab them, right? Anyway, guys, uh, here I took my time to go to the right. You don't have to, but there are some nice, nice goodies here. Uh, for example, this extra life here on the ledge. Uh, one smart bomb and some other goodies, like these weapons. Uh, yeah, it's really not advisable to go there, although goodies are great, because uh, you can't see normally Bruce Will's shadow, so you can just fall to your death really, really easily there. And yeah, if it's not obvious, then these uh, health power-ups, well, they replenish your health. Uh, replenishing of health goes in this game by the percentage, uh, so yeah, uh, whenever you pick up these health power-ups, uh, they kinda replenish some percentage of your health. So that's how it works. Yeah, when I was a small kid, this level was actually pretty challenging for me, I don't know why. Maybe because of these green views, which are throwing grenades at me. They just uh, were throwing them constantly, and uh, you see, it's hard to spot these dudes as well here. So yeah, they just uh, annihilate me here, <laughs> really. But anyway, there's a flamethrower hiding here, so let's just burn them to death! I like burning enemies to death because, uh, well, I can enjoy some beautiful scenery, uh, as well as uh, some nice voice acting by the enemies whenever you fry them. Yeah, what are we doing in the sewers? I have no idea, because we were kinda escaping the prison, right? We are kinda flying away, but uh, we ended up in the sewers for some reason. Uh, I have really, really uh, no idea why. <laughs> That's kinda really, really odd. So, yeah. Okay, here we have some spikes. You can destroy them by using your smart bomb, like I did now, or you can just uh, jump over them as well. Okay, uh, pit section with some a lot of enemies here. Uh, the thing is about this pit section, there will be enemies constantly here. Sometimes there are flamethrowers at the right part of the section, which you can just shoot uh, and they will disappear, but uh, for some reason they didn't appear here, so I just took my time to edit this particular part in so that you can see that these flamethrowers actually are appearing here. <laughs> okay, I'm not lying, guys, I'm not lying, so uh, yeah. But you can just dispose of them just by shooting at these flamethrowers and then they disappear for whatever reason. So, yeah. But anyway, we're back. Speaking about these flamethrowers, you can't uh, shoot at these flamethrowers, they won't disappear, so don't bother. And here, if you go backwards, you can get smart bomb. Yeah, a lot of uh, secrets, as you can see. And it knew about all these secrets when I was a small kid, so it's kinda really uh, awesome to replay this game again to look for these secrets. I won't be showing off all of the secrets, only the ones that I know, but uh, yeah, it's kind of really, really awesome to show them off. Okay, checkpoint, and here, actually, the path is splitting here in two directions, so uh, I'm showing off the direction to the right first, which is uh, less rewarding than the direction to the left. As you can see here, you can only get, yeah, just a basic grip laser, and here is the place where both paths kind of merge together. So we'll be taking in this playthrough the path to the left, actually. So yeah, what is really advisable in this level is just to see enemies, because you see it's really hard to spot them, and they are kind of standing there on this platform throwing uh, grenades at you, so just use your homing missiles here. Lock and, load. and yeah, get rid of them that way. Ooh, waterfall cave, what is this, RPG? You don't have to have uh, waterfall caves in this game, come on. Only in RPGs you have to have them. But anyway, yeah, here you can get a extra life, a secret. So as you can see, this path I think is more rewarding because not only you can get a extra life, but also homing missiles. So yeah, and yeah, be careful of these rocks uh, because they hurt like hell. 
Yeah, homing missiles are really handy, especially uh, against these dudes which are standing uh, on these uh, upper platforms there. Especially in this section here, because uh, I need a lot of health for this particular section. So that's why I kind of took my time to just dispose of these enemies by using my homing missiles. So they don't bombard me to death. And yeah, as you can see, bats here, they're kind of screwing your aiming, uh, so dispose of them first and then go after uh, these dudes on that ledge with your homing missiles. Because the next section, you can, like, the things that... Well, basically, uh, there will be a rocks which will be constantly... constantly falling down. These rocks, they hurt like hell. They can basically one-shot you. I'm not kidding, so that's why I need a lot of health here. And what makes this is, this uh, particular part more challenging is that there is a, actually a secret here, which I will be going after. Yeah, this one, as you can see, to get this extra life. You can skip it, just go by this path normally, but, uh, well, I took my time just to show it off. Now, before uh, heading into this northern crater, or whatever it is, this thing, let's, uh, yeah, grab some health here. So, yeah, it's uh, really not advisable to go after that one uh, health bear, well, one live, but, uh, because these rocks, they hurt like hell. But anyway, uh, don't try to just jump down here. Because uh, I don't know if you'll die, but uh, you'll take a lot of damage, so it's really not good. So whenever you see the nearest platform here, just jump to that it. That let's that's a doozy! That's right, Bruce. <laughs> and yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, the Bruce Willis' acting is really awesome in this game. Uh, I just can't get over it, really. It's great. So here, uh, destroy the environment here, but be careful by going f forward, because uh, yeah, you see there are some rocks which are kind of falling down. So you have to take your time in this game as well, sometimes, although in the most times it's really, really advisable just to move, because well, the enemies are kind of constantly shooting, but sometimes you have to take your time. Okay, you see here we have three crystals, which you can just actually destroy to get uh, some nice goodie there as well, but yeah, I'll be showing it off as well. But first I have to get rid of these giant mutant rats! What the hell are these guys doing here? Rats? Friends? With rats? Really, Bruce? Are you on your drugs again? Whatever. Okay, here we get Pulse Laser, yeah, out of these crystals. And here I was just using uh, grenades to get rid of these rocks to proceed further, because I don't want to waste my other ammo on these things, really. Oh my god, some more splinters! Yeah, giant uh, splinter rats here. No Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, though, but uh, oh well. Yeah, what, what are these rats uh, doing here? I have really no idea. Maybe the drugs are the root of all evil. Okay, so here um, the path will kind of split again. As you can see, we have a pentagram here, so I'll be showing off the path to the right first, and then I'll go normally in this playthrough to the path to the left. So the thing is, both paths are kind of identical. So uh, it's not that in one path you can get more goodies and the other one uh, less goodies or something. No, it's completely identical, but I think the path to the left is kind of shorter than the path to the right, so yeah. So here I took my time to destroy all the environment here. Uh, so uh, keep rolling, 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 yeah! But yeah, I just wanted, wanted to check, maybe there are some hidden stuff, you know, in these uh, destroyable things here. Okay, here we have a lava here. Uh, the thing is about this lava, mm, it won't one-shot you when you touch it, but it will decrease your health constantly uh, when you are in it. So uh, yeah, just uh, try to platform here, because it will save your life. And here, these platforms, whenever you touch them, these brown ones, they fall, so try to uh, jump fast. And yeah, that's that was the part where both paths kind of merged together, so now I'm showing off the path to the left, which I actually took in this playthrough. So the thing is uh, about this path, uh, if you, for example, want to explore the other path, you can't do it. Whenever you take one path, that's it. You can't. Come on, Bruce, we have uh, children watching here. Just watch your language, please. 
So yeah, you, you just can't go back uh, in this path. So whenever you take one or the other path, you just have to make your way through it. You have no other options here. So many crystals here. What the hell is this? Uh, Final Fantasy game? No? Too many of these things, really. Can't you pull the trigger any faster? I am pulling the trigger fast enough already, Bruce. What the hell, man? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, destroy these crystals and some magical platforms will appear here. Okay, yeah, and here I just took my time to destroy the, that one little crystal here because, well, I'm a completionist, you know, you, you never know. Maybe there will be some extra life in it or something like that. <laughs> I won't be destroying all the environment, just the one that I see, I will destroy because, well, I can, I'm Bruce Willis, so yeah. And yeah, here is the same uh, section where we have been before in the previous path, so, uh, march forward and move it! Okay, this section, the stream will kind of pull you backwards constantly, so, uh, be careful of these rocks, you can get to see where they will appear by the shadow. And also try to shoot your gun constantly here, uh, because uh, we also have spikes here uh, moving, uh, yeah, as you can see. So you can either jump over them, or you can destroy them with your gun. So that's how it works here. Yeah, really uh, annoying corridor, this one. But we'll be fine, because we are Bruce Willis. Oh yeah! Whoa! Yeah, here we have a whirlpool section, so we have to break away from the stream just by jumping. Yeah! Come on, Bruce, watch your tongue! Please! What the hell? <laughs> okay, yeah, here we have uh, flamethrowers, so uh, be careful. Eh? 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 Phew. And some more. Eh? Eh? Phew. And some more! <laughs> yeah, a lot of these things. Hop. Hop. Are hop? Here we go. Oh shit. Come on, Bruce, watch your tongue. What do we have here? Crocodile shoes! Yeah, the boss of this level, giant alligator uh, crocodile thing. <laughs> so, uh, the thing is, uh, what you should remember about this boss you can only damage him when he is above the water. So, yeah, and sometimes. Health power-ups appear here as well at the top, which, uh, after a while, they'll disappear, so grab them whenever you can. Also, two weapons appear uh, in this particular area. One is a pulse laser, which is appearing to the left, and uh, sometimes flamethrower appears here as well, to the right. So, uh, whenever you damage this boss, uh, some annoying things happen uh, in this arena here. Spikes try to appear here as well. And also these uh, green views which uh, throw grenades at you are appearing here, here as well. So uh, the thing is, uh, level ends as soon as you destroy the boss. So just don't go, don't go after these spikes and these enemies here. Just go after the boss himself and you'll be fine. Flame forward works wonders against this boss. So whenever you have a chance to pick it up, just do it. And uh, yeah. Just scorch the boss that way. And here we go, uh, that's it for this uh, level. Uh, so yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode in the sewers. <laughs> and yeah, I'll meet you in the next part. So how much kill percentage do we have? 17? Ah, I don't care, let's save the game. Yes. And yeah, I'll meet you in the next part. So uh, enjoy the cinematic once again. Cheers.